Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for XCOM Chimera Squad. We are continuing our impossible run and uh, working on the final of the three groups. Uh, the, uh, what are they called again? The uh, Progeny. There we go. So, uh, yeah, see how things are going. We did just finish a Spec Ops mission, which did lower unrest in all the districts by one. Very, very helpful because a couple of these had already maxed out. Uh, that definitely is going to save us a lot more city anarchy than just the three city anarchy by itself, I believe. Um, just about everything has at least one um, tick at the moment. So I actually think sending out for another one of those, uh, produce all by one, is actually probably another good idea. Uh, yeah, I think, this is, I think this is what we want. Seems like it really helps out a lot. So we'll keep using Cherub there. I mean, he's got the right promotion for it, so it definitely helps out there. Um, yeah, that's good. Anarchy and rest, bunch of unrest changes, which is awesome. Still have her available to move if I want to. We'll see here in a second. Um, still not enough intel to do this last one, which is unfortunate because I really would like to. Uh, oh no, we have two more. I'm sorry, I mis misread that. Now we need one ten there. Is it the same for here? Yeah, one ten. I, I assumed it would be, but so we can reduce district unrest of something by by a little bit though, which we might do here in just a minute. Let's check. Which one of these two missions we want to go for first? You have gross in industry, which does give us an epic shotgun, which would be useful for um, for uh, Claymore. And here, turn coat grenade, mind shield mod, and lift grenade. I'm assuming turn coat flips a mob to our side for a few turns. Mind shield probably protects us from mind control, and then lift grenade probably lifts something up in the air. So those all make pretty good sense. Uh, plus the intel would get us to what? One, it's only going to get 105, unless we get some uh, captures within it, which then I could get us up to 125, which would be enough to boost one of these other ones up again. Um, I think I would rather have the epic shotgun, to be honest. But I think the intel is pretty important. Plus three items. Can't go wrong with three items. Let's just go with this one. So which means I am going to reduce... Oh, never mind. I was going to reduce unrest here, but it doesn't really feel like that would be useful. Um, so we'll probably just reduce unrest in one of these two. Probably this one because it is rank two at the moment, so that will give us the most bang for our buck. Brings that one down pretty low. I think it's fine. Uh, plus if we do this one instead of that one up there, this one still won't cap out, so I think that's actually going to be the right move. Yeah, let's go for this one. So we're going to have one encounter. It is a vehicle encounter. Uh, it's very likely the movement penalty is going to be problematic but i just don't know if we can go without the heal the heal is just so important so i think we just go as is and yeah i think this is it let's go for it like i said this is basically our a team as soon as we're available to though i'm going to try and get rid of her mobility knock ready for evac. Hostiles on the move. yeah the evac stuff that might be a mistake bringing her to be honest uh, last unit through this entrance receive an extra action point. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just keep doing Claymore first. He seems pretty strong. Let's do... Yeah, we'll keep giving Zephyr the extra action point. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's send... Can we send Zephyr second? No, we have to send Zephyr... Or third, I mean, we can have to send Zephyr second to get this. You can go third. Wrong button. Uh, you can go third with that, and then terminal can go last. And that's fine. Moving in. Gets a couple of extra bonus. We could have done smoke grenade too, but I think the extra just attack on the breach is probably okay. Alright, we've got several mobs. We've got a hitman over here. We have a bruiser over here. Bomber in the middle. It's actually pretty rough to deal with sometimes. Uh, Sorcerer, Acolyte, Trooper. Let's go for... We have a 108% chance to crit. I think we're going to crit this guy. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's go for this guy. Even with the crit, though, it still wasn't a lot of damage, which is kind of funny. Oh, this is a, this is a Zephyr, so we're going to send you after the bomber, I think. Where's the bomber? Uh, no, maybe not the bomber, because you're not actually alerted. I'll send you after the Acolyte. Uh, 
Um, I'm tempted to get a couple things low because if his effort's going to get an early action, it can really help out things. But 118% chance to crit. Come on, let's get a good crit. Did we kill him? I can't tell if we killed him. I don't think. I can't tell, honestly. I don't, I don't see him over there. Maybe we got the kill off. 86% chance here. Eh, sure, why not? A little bit of damage. Only one thing shooting us back. That's fine. And Zephyr's going to get to move up to her thing. Not get a stun off, unfortunately. But that's alright. The There's our VIP. That's the target. Pretty far to, to run, to be honest. Um, we do have an extra action here. Um, kind of want to just chain shot this guy a couple times, see if we can get him low. There's a chance. All right, so we only did two damage, but hey, it was just an extra action. All right, so we can shrapnel bomb a couple times here. Can't quite reach up there, though. Can't quite reach over here either. Really not getting a good shrapnel bomb targets. I mean, I can move up. Might be best just to stick a grenade something, though. Uh, No, I can shrapnel bomb here not blow up myself probably shoot the shrapnel bomb to trigger it or i could just shrapnel bomb behind the bomber just be that he's the only one i'm shooting and then sticky grenade number three and sticky and he might actually move back to something else that's probably better let's do that Going explosive i can work with that a little sticky grenade this guy Hope he runs away from us. Watch this be the one time he doesn't. There we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good damage. All right, so the bomb should still go off, hit the bomber, shred some of the armor. He's got a lot of armor. Um, guess we just got to start moving you up. Hope that we can protect you somehow. I guess I'll move you up to here. And probably hunker you down. Oh, he's got blast padding. So he didn't do any damage. To oh, that makes sense. He's a bomber. That actually makes perfect sense. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's bad for me, but it's still kind of a cool effect. All right. Uh, I think we Reaper here. Because I think we can knock out the bruiser and then do some damage to something else at least. And we're not going to kill two things, but it's at least going to be some pretty good damage to a couple things. Tempted to use the Molotov Inducer or Flashbang Grenade or something like that. Actually, might not be a bad time for a Flashbang Grenade. I don't know if, see, I don't know if it's going to get them both. Or either of them, to be honest. We'll try it. Present for you. Ah, you're immune. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. I mean, I didn't know you're immune, but now that you say you're immune, I get it. All right, we are gonna Reaper. Time for some snow Do I have Molotov Inducer? I'm gonna try and save that a little bit. We're gonna crippling blow the Bruiser up here, so we know we can knock it out, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with our next action here in a second. Demolishing. Or not knock it out. Of course you rolled low. Of course you rolled low. Or is it because of the armor? I don't think it's because of the armor. At least this guy's stunned. Now this trooper's gonna get a chance to move, but I don't think I was gonna say I don't think he shoots the our, our good guy. It's actually a pretty rough round. Not really getting the productivity I was hoping off the off, off all of our guys. Um if I I do think I need to start moving people up. So I think that is uh actually no, I say that. Good stasis field here would be pretty useful. Can I stasis field the bomber? He's a big old boy. Time out. All right, that helps. Uh, I think a lot. Not letting him get his action off, I think is a pretty big deal. So then we're gonna try and chaining jolt. Uh, this this will get all three of them, but I don't. I know for sure 
this guy's dead as soon as he takes some damage. So, oh, see, I was hoping I could chaining jolt this guy back here, but that is not going to happen. I guess we'll start with you and just let it zip through. This will get the most mobs. Eh, decent damage. Gonna get a good shot against number six, maybe. Tracking target weapon. Oh, just a disable shot. Uh, we did take some damage from the explosion. The disable shot doesn't really hurt us that much, though, no by itself. Limit. Um, yeah. So, I think we do need a safeguard here. Miss Patchwork back here. I didn't hit the button. That is still very frustrating that it does that. Very frustrating. Um. Hmm. I might just try and shoot something. It's not a great shot, but at least it gets it low-ish. If it if it goes off. Plus, I know that's right. It does have guaranteed two damage, so that that's good. That sorcerer might be within range to kill with Zephyr. Good miss. That thing's about to blow up, though. Thankfully, I think he does get a move before it blows up. I hope. Um, why did you throw a grenade there? I didn't tell you to throw a grenade there. This thing's very, very frustrating right now. Like, really stupidly frustrating. Can't quite do both of you guys. Uh, I might be able to get both of you guys, though. I mean, you're about to get blown up by the truck anyway. We'll do this. Explosive out. I'm pretty frustrated that that's, that something's going on that's causing things to trigger automatically. Um, I, I gotta get you away from here. I think I might have to, like, extra move just to double... Well, I can move you up and just hope that I can kill nine and... Well, I'm not gonna be able to kill two in time. Safest thing would be moved back here somewhere, but I'm going to move you. See, I don't know what the blast radius is. I could also just double move you up like pretty far. Uh, this goes through your... To here, you'd at least be in cover, sort of. Probably get yourself killed, though. Especially with an Acolyte able to do six damage. Yeah, unfortunately, that would probably kill you. I think we're going to come over here and just hunker down and hope that we survive. It's really just this Acolyte that I'm worried Okay. Not the worst damage in the world. Bomb's about to go off. Didn't kill us, at least. I still won't get some of this stuff, but it's alright. Um... I can crowd control over here and probably knock out both of those guys. That seems like a good move. If the bomber was active, I might crowd control over on this side of things. I was, was going to say, assuming it lets me pick where I crowd control, because that seems to be up for debate at the moment. I didn't quite kill him. Uh, he is disoriented, though. There's the stasis ending. I figured it was about to end. Kind of makes some sense, unfortunately. Um, I mean, a capacitor discharge over here would potentially do some good damage. Number two is about to get to act, though. Might be a good time for a team up. I actually think it is a good time for a team up. Probably on Zephyr, since Zephyr just moved. And again, assuming we get to choose our capacitor discharge, I was going to say over here would be probably the best. Can I get all three of you guys? Oh, so close. Yes. Should kill you. I would love it if it stunned one of you two guys. Nope. Mental effects of immunity. Which looks like it did trigger the stun, but it just didn't. Um, can't do anything against her, which makes, I guess, some sense. Um, I would like to get rid of number five. I'd like to get rid of number two. I'm going to gamble and get rid of the bomber because I feel like the bomber is just the worst. Now, if the hitman kills this guy, well then, whoops, I made the wrong choice. 
but I really want to get rid of this bomber over here. Splintering. Target down for Didn't even let the bomber get a shot off, or a bomb off, I should say. Come on, come shoot me. Or shoot terminal. That works too. I'm okay with that. You got nothing on me. All right. We didn't get reinforcements so far, which is kind of odd. I was kind of expecting them up by now. Uh, I think we just move up. I mean, I could heal. Nobody's like especially low, right? Maybe they're a little bit low, but not super especially low. I think we just move up, try and kill the sorcerer here with her. Should get a good shot here. Actually, we're, we're guaranteed to kill. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Please tell me you're not like shooting something randomly. No, the sorcerer is guaranteed to die. And I think this is the right move. All right, now we get reinforcements. I thought we were going to get reinforcements soon. Just didn't know when. Um, let's do this. I think I may just move up and either overwatch or throw a bomb on one side or the other. Probably just overwatch here. Like this way. Get you to double move. Get you kind of really pushing up. You've got a long ways to go, but... I mean, I still got to deal with this guy, no so I can't forget him. Oh, we killed a civilian. Hey, the civilian should have moved, okay? That's all I'm saying. Um... No ammo, which is fine. Oh, we do have a free reload. We'll take the free reload. One moment, reloading. I kind of just want to kill this guy over here. Still need to move up though. Going to move. Actually, I can just zap him. There's no point risking it. Let's get rid of him, guaranteed. That works. Um, Zephyr really can't do anything here to help with the uh, reinforcements, except maybe centralize a little bit. Be able to go either direction. And of course, prepare, which potentially moves her up in the list. Uh, we definitely need to move you up. Keep advancing, especially since you have the lowest Nobody mobility. And... I guess uh, we don't have a free reload. Boo. All right, we'll just take a reload then. Ready for anything. Of course, they came up from the side that I'm not watching. Oh no, there we go. Got something to the side. Come on, kill him. Oh, you should have killed him. No delight from the past. He had a chance to kill him. Six health isn't a ton of health. Um, number five is pretty low on the list, so I bet if I bomb over here. He will die. I'm just going to blow up the car. Isn't the car already blown up? And I don't think it is. And there's not a way for me to sh throw it over here without blowing up the car. Oh, yeah, there it is. Right there. All right, so that kills number five. Guaranteed. We're going to get reinforcements soon. Hope we don't have to worry about number five. We do need to advance here, though. So maybe we just push up. Or do I throw another grenade over on this side of things? That car has blown up. So a grenade here should not affect anything. Uh, it's not going to do enough to kill number three, and number three is going to get to move first, so never mind. So, on the, that note, could throw the ceasefire grenade at least. Killing them both. No, of course not. But this should... Uh, does it just make him reload? I can't remember. Man, we are so close. Uh, I'm just going to do this, though, because he is the next act. I think that makes him reload. Yeah. Which means he can't move, but I am just going to move up now. Because I need to keep advancing. At least the doctor going to get to double move here and get out of here. One less thing we got to worry about. Especially the guy that's the super squishy. Oh, so he does have to reload, but he's going to get a shot here. Thankfully not very much damage. Bomb's going to go out and kill this guy. Uh, Zephyr can kind of probably can crowd control over here. Her splendor drops in How did you not die? Was it a cover thing, or did I just not have the grenade covering you? And I thought I did. That 
That's very frustrating. Oh, goodness. Something's bugged, because that obviously should not be happening like that. What are you going to do? How does stasis feel I can run? Guess we'll move up as much as we can. And then I may just stasis number two over there so he doesn't get a chance to move here. I just... Uh, <laughs> very frustrating. When things get auto attack or move, you know, done, this doesn't make any sense. Please let me know in the comments below if I'm missing something, because I feel like things are just auto triggering wherever they feel like triggering, which is really dumb. Kind of need you to just double move, although probably single move and at least get a shot on this number three over here. Get him a little bit low. Because we're guaranteed... Uh, actually, we're guaranteed to kill number five. No, let's get number three low, if we can. Within bomb kill range, at least. Bunch of mobs coming in. Alright, we are going to throw... A shrapnel bomb on one side, assuming it lets me. Thankfully, it does. Um, maybe I threw the shrapnel bomb out of bounds or something weird. I could kill this guy, but number two is about to move anyway, so it's not going to help us. So probably over here is the better move. I'm going to throw it right on top of number five. If he doesn't kill him this time, then I give up. And then we are going to stick a grenade number two over here. That'll kill him. Catch. It's weird that didn't do damage there. Nice um, Zephyr. Probably move up and attack number two. Smashing extremities. Only rooted him, though. Uh, you can escape right now. I don't think I want you to, because I think with your parry, I think we're going to be in a good spot. All right, killed one. Did pretty good damage to the other two. Unless, of course, the parry gets consumed by one of them, and the other guy shoots him and kills him. Which is very possible. All right, not a, good. Thankfully, not enough damage. She can get out this next round, though, so that's good. Stasis ended. Um, Patrick just needs to move up pretty aggressively and hope that we can get a zap chaining jolt off, off on some good people here. Probably. Hmm, not sure what we're going to do here. I can kill number three. Cannot kill these two. I bet I take the guarantee, kill a number three, and ignore number two. Probably the right move. Jolting the target. A thousand cuts. One less shot we guaranteed to get. Good hit. It means number one can shoot Zephyr here. Thankfully again. Not enough to kill him. Kill her, I should say. Um terminal really needs to keep booking it. Could shoot something, guarantee a kill, but probably better just to sh heal Zephyr. Let's get your insides back inside. All right, get reinforcements again. Um, can we grenade here before? Yes, we can grenade this guy before. Um, before he's able to move, so that guarantees the kill over here. And then we can move you up pretty aggressively here. Should be able to escape next turn. All right, Zephyr. I mean, I can Reaper these two and maybe be able to escape. No, 
I want to get this guy. Why can't I get this other guy? Uh, I could just crowd control. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just do that. Ah, of course we were low. That's a miss. All right, Patrick, let's get you moved up. Probably zap these guys over here. But you can move out this next turn. Actually, you can get both of them. In theory, if it works. There we go. If I can get Terminal out of here, then... Not quite. It's funny that she can go over there, but she can't quite go over here. Um, let's just move up as far as we can. I am going to go ahead and use Second Wind because people are a little bit low. Let's try that again. And then everybody... I think everybody can escape this next round. So we can ignore the mobs this time around. I mean, they're going to get a couple actions before we can, but I don't think it's a problem. All right. Yeah, Claymore has to double move to get out of here. I think that is okay. Let's just start getting everybody out. Everybody's close enough to evac this round. We're going to get a couple shots against us, but not the end of the world. We got enough health to survive two shots, probably. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's pretty good damage. Again? That's not good. Probably could have thrown stasis there, but I don't think it's a big deal. That's a lot more damage than I expected, but that's alright. We can get out. Oh, only two captured enemies. Boo. Really need the intel. Really need it. I should have guaranteed it because I really needed the intel. Because that would give me another level up on something. How would you get it? Yay! 40% rolled high this time. All right. So training is done. Thank you, Celio. All right, training's completed. We probably will go ahead and get rid of her scar because it, it is pretty painful. Um, and then we may bring Blue Bud in her place, which does mean no healing for a, a little bit or no healing from like her, but we at least have a few healing grenades we can throw around. We shall see. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.